A very good evening everybody and welcome to our Celtic Spirituality Reflection as from St Michael at the Northgate Church in Oxford. I hope your day has gone well, hope your week has gone well. As ever we begin with a reminder that in our Christian journeying we never travel on our own. We are part of that great multitude that no one can number. We travel together, mindful of the enfolding love of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. These words from Psalm 125, As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. And continuing in our theme of being enfolded, encircled with the love of God, this prayer. Circle me, Lord, keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord, keep hope within, keep doubt without. Circle me, Lord, keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord, keep peace within, keep evil out. Some words from Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me, uttering slanders against me, my adversaries and foes, they shall stumble and fall. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that, w that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. Words of our Creed We believe in God above us, maker and sustainer of all life of sun and moon, of water and earth, of male and female. We believe in God beside us, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, born of a woman, servant of the poor, tortured and nailed to a tree, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He descended into the earth to the place of death. On the third day he rose from the tomb. He ascended into heaven to be everywhere present throughout all ages and his kingdom will come on earth. We believe in God within us, the Holy Spirit burning with Pentecostal fire, life-giving breath of the Church, spirit of healing and forgiveness, source of all resurrection and of eternal life. Amen. This version of the Prayer of St. Patrick I rise today with the power of God to guide me, the might of God to uphold me, the wisdom of God to teach me, the eye of God to watch over me, the ear of God to hear me, the word of God to give me speech, the hand of God to protect me, the path of God to lie before me, the shield of God to shelter me, the hosts of God to defend me, against the snares of the devil and the temptations of the world, against everyone who meditates injury against me, whether far or near. Amen. Some verses from a poem by John Keeble, whose day the church remembered on Wednesday. New every morning is the love our waking and uprising prove through sleep and darkness safely brought, restored to life and power and thought. New mercies each returning day hover around us while we pray, new perils past, new sins forgiven, new thoughts of God, new hopes of heaven. Just a moment or two, if I may, looking at these words from Psalm 27. 
The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. We see already the psalmist uses three images. Light, salvation, involved in salvation is wholeness and healing and forgiveness. And stronghold, like a great castle around us. What image do we use of the love of God in our lives? Of course, the greatest image, the greatest icon of all is Christ himself. But there are other images, well, part of the Christ story, which are, which are helpful too. And light and salvation and a castle, maybe that may be helpful for us. Because he is our light, our salvation, the stronghold of our life, the psalmist feels we need not be afraid. When evildoers assail me, uttering slanders against me, and may we just be reminded that these assailants may not always be outside, they may sometimes be internal, and voices within us which are assailing us, uttering slanders against us. But they shall stumble and fall in the presence of the light, the salvation, the stronghold that is God himself. And though the enemies may seem very many multitudinous, though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. The psalmist is very honest, as psalmists always are, of the difficulties that there can be, of the sense of enmity in the world or in ourselves against us, dragging us down, slandering us. But the psalmist, as well as being honest about those, is confident in God, his light, his salvation, his stronghold. And so that balance is there, and the psalmist feels that he can be confident, he will stand firm. And this is where his heart is, one thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He seeks the presence of God. And in our little reflections on Friday afternoons or in whatever pattern of prayer that we may have through the week, through the day, may God give us grace likewise to seek his presence. To behold the beauty of the Lord. Lots there about reflecting, meditating on the character of God. To inquire in his temple. Lots there about learning for he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. Rock of ages, cleft for me. And then two more images. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. So uh, one perhaps could imagine a storm in the desert or enemies, wild animals prowling around. Quick, stay in the tent. You will be covered, you will be hidden from those forces of evil. You will be safe. And then a different image. He will set me high upon a rock. And so although, although the flood waters may be coming close, we will be kept uh, clear and dry and safe from those. And of course, set high upon a rock, we are then able to see more clearly. These are just the opening verses of Psalm 27. And I do commend the whole psalm to us all. Wonderful imagery of the love the protective love of God for us, light, salvation, stronghold, wonderful imagery of what God, God does for us, protects us, shelters us, shelters us in his tent, but also setting us up on the high place upon the rock so we are kept safe and we can see clearly. And one day our enemies, they will stumble and fall. They may seem pretty strong at the moment, but one day they will be no more. So whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? Lots of echoes in many Psalms on this balance between uh, the understanding that the enemies can feel strong, but our, that our confidence in God, our rock, another image, in God, our rock, can be absolutely firm. May God give us grace to keep faith with him this day and always. Amen. And so to our concluding prayers. 
as ever we hold before God anybody in particular need this day, anybody who feels that they need to be uh, really aware that they're kept safe in the cover of the tent or that they can be set high upon a place where danger will not assail them. We pray for those who feel surrounded by enemies of whatever sort. Through Christ, the firstborn of all creation, we pray for respect for the earth. Through Christ, Prince of Peace, we pray for peace for earth's peoples. Through Christ, King of Love, we pray for love in our lives. Through Christ, Lord of the Dance, we pray for delight in the good. Through Christ, Divine Healer, we pray for forgiveness for past wrongs. Through Christ, the Morning Star, we pray for the grace to make a new start for ourselves and for our world. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Blessings on your weekend.